Hello! How y'all doing? And the plant is back. Welcome back to my channel, guys, and thank you so much for being here. If you are new, what is up? My name is Ling, but y'all can call me Auntie Ling Ling. If you are wondering why I got eyeliner on with no false lashes, it is because I am testing out the new Huda Beauty Life Liner. Apparently, it lasts for 48 hours, and I am hoping it does because I'm a huge fan of Huda Beauty. And in general, I really trust Huda Beauty's makeup because everything that I've tried from her has been amazing. Yeah, make sure you look out for this review video because it will be up very, very soon on my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my personal favorite beauty products from Amazon. I love Amazon. I'm on Amazon at least three times a week checking out what's available, what's on sale, what can I get on Prime. And there's a lot of amazing beauty products on Amazon that I feel like, you know, you guys don't need these products, but I feel like it's something that could help you like in the long term. Like these aren't short term beauty products. These are actual beauty products. <laughs> <laughs> products that I have in front of me are more tools rather than actual products that you put on your skin and you know it does all its magic. It's little tools and little bits and pieces that could enhance your skin, make it look better, make it look more radiant, make it look more younger and I just feel like it would be really fun to talk to you guys about it because I'm a huge fan of skincare and I feel like it's been a very long time since I've done a dedicated video about skin and I am trying my best to produce more videos around skincare so if there's any questions or any videos you want me to film that's based on skin please let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to film it and get up for you I have no idea which product to talk to you guys about because every single product that I have in front of me is like really gets me excited I feel like the one product that I use the most would be this one right here so this is the Kinga face steamer now I found this from my friend now my friend is a huge skincare fan as well and she told me that this is one of the best face steamers that she has found on Amazon and it's quite affordable so what I love about this face steamer is that it's very small it's lightweight you can hold it up as well so it's really cool and then also at the back here you just put in some cold water and then you put it in bish bash bosh turn it on and lots of steam just comes out i'm not gonna put it on right now because i got makeup on and i just feel like open pores heat makeup going into my pores that's like my worst nightmare so I've started using this face steamer properly maybe like three, four months ago and I've started to introduce it more in my Instagram skincare videos because it really does make a difference to my skin, especially when I do a nighttime skincare routine and I put on lots of moisturizer and then the next day my skin is literally glistening, glowing, it looks healthy, it looks more awake. I feel like all the toxins and everything has been flushed out and you can see it in my skin. This is also amazing to use when you're sick as well. So if you've got the flu, girl, turn this on, put on a face mask. Oh yeah, that is your spa day. So how I like to use a face steamer is that make sure that your skin is very, very clean, no makeup at all, zilch. Make sure that bitch is off your face. As you're steaming your face, you wanna make sure that you don't hold it too close to your face because you're gonna end up like burning yourself. You're not gonna burn yourself, but it's gonna get really hot and your skin might react badly to it. So you wanna kind of like leave like, I don't know, this far away. I hope that is um, understandable. And what I love about this face steamer is that I can use facial cleansers, face mask. I recommend clay mask by the way way and it just really works deeper into the skin. So the next product I'm going to talk to you guys about is the opposite of a face steam. This is a cooling gel mask. This is amazing on a hot ass day and your AC is broken. Honestly, we put this in the fridge, you leave it in there for about I'd say 20 to 30 minutes. You put it on. Oh my god, it's literally so nice and cool. Oh yes. Oh, okay, I've got to be careful because I've got a little bit of makeup on. <laughs> what I like about this is that you don't have to put this on your face. You can just like put it up on your neck like this just to cool yourself down sometimes when i'm filming and it gets really hot i just leave this on my lap and literally it just feels like a not a hot water bottle but a cold water bottle <laughs> if that makes any sense and it's just really cooling and what i love about a cooling gel mask is that it helps wake you up this is also amazing after you've like freshly washed your face and just put this on it kind of just closes the pores really quickly so it prevents like dirt bacteria all sorts going into your pores also also good if you have a headache as well. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about, it might be a boring product to you guys, but I feel like these are quite necessary. I'm talking about these guys. So these are silicon face brushes. I mean, there's not much to say about them, to be totally honest with you guys. I prefer to use silicon face brushes rather than actual brush hair brushes because I feel like it's kind of long to like wash them. As for these, because it's silicon, it just rinses off really quickly and it dries instantly as well. And that's literally all I have to say about them. Wow, go me at setting things. But no. 
but honestly, I do like these. I've been using these for about two years now. You've probably seen me use these in my Instagram video. Very long lasting. They don't break or anything. And yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about them. So the next part I want to talk to you guys about is... Can I classify it as beauty? I guess I could in a weird way. So I want to talk to you guys about these. These are the biodegradable cotton buds and these are the cotton pads as well, which are reusable. For the past few years on my Instagram, a lot of you guys have been messaging me and leaving comments on my video saying that I should start using more reusable and eco-friendly products and that is what I am doing. I thank you guys for educating me and helping me out and opening my eyes to things that I don't see, which I know sounds a little bit dumb, but uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys the truth. <laughs> and it was very cheap as well, it wasn't so expensive. These are made out of bamboo. So what that basically means is that bamboo, once it's like, you know, thrown away, it would like disintegrate into the world and yeah, it doesn't get lost into the sea and hurt any baby animals. So these are actually made from my friends. These are reusable cotton pads, which you can use to take off your makeup, wipe down your face, or do whatever you wanna do with them. It's so cute because she handmade them and look, it's got a cat on there as well and I love cats. So it's not from Amazon. On, but um, I'll leave a link to her website down below in case you guys want to check it out Please send her lots of support and please check her website out as well You can get reusable cotton pads from Amazon But um, I'm just gonna be that girl and be like just check out my friend instead <laughs> And if you're wondering how to wash these all you got to do is get this reusable little I want to call it like a little laundry bag <laughs> And you just pop them in there and just tie it up and you just put them in the wash and voila And you can reuse this as many times as you want and this you can get from Amazon as well I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's called a little laundry bag for your cotton pads just really cute who has seen these on instagram so these are jade rollers and i don't know what this one is called specifically but this really helps like massage my face and i kind of feel snatched after using this i don't know what it's called but i'll leave a link down below let's talk about the jade roller because i know more about the jade roller than that i love using jade rollers i love using jade rollers for everything i use this to massage the moisturizer and serums into my skin or my spf i like to dip this into my face mask or my peel off mask and just like roll it all over my face the reason why i like to use rollers is because it really helps gets rid of the stress in my face like i don't know what's wrong with me but i feel like i've got something wrong with my jaw where i clench it too hard without me realizing and then especially at night when i'm sleeping and then the next morning my face is like really like sore and tight and i get like a really bad headache and when i use jade rollers it just really helps alleviate the pain a lot of people think they're magic and they do some sort of like special thing honestly what it does it helps alleviate muscle strain on the face i also like to use this on my neck as well and oh my god this is so nice and cold yes mama so on the other side you can see that it's obviously a little bit riggedy now this is a little bit more harsher this is for people who want it hard that sound is so wrong i didn't mean to sound it like that so like i said i get really bad muscle ache on my face face and sometimes I really need to like get my elbows in and do this to my skin and yeah it does work for me it may not work for you but I personally would recommend it for anyone who suffers from a lot of muscle wake on their face or on their jaw and they're looking for something to help alleviate the pain because sometimes your fingers it just does like you know it just it's just not the same when you use something like this it's a little bit of a game changer this over here I don't really use it that much but I want to talk to you guys about it because it might interest you just in case you guys aren't interested in a roller so this side of the stone you can massage your face like this or you can use this side, which is like the heart side. You can kind of just like put it underneath your eyes and just like massage it. If you don't wear moisturizer or any sort of serum when using these products, then the chances are you're gonna tug your skin and you're gonna actually end up getting more wrinkles. So make sure you use some sort of moisturization with these products. Okay, so the last one is quite sciencey, and I'm trying my best to learn and understand the science behind this product, but it is good. And I've been using this product for the past, I think three years, but I use it in professional facial salon. As for this one, I thought, why not I just buy it off of Amazon and do my own little bougie facial in the comfort of my own house because y'all go don't like to leave the house. So this is the LED face mask. This is what she looks like. Crazy, I know. So the reason why I got this was because many years ago, <laughs> not that many years ago, I'll say about three years ago, I had really bad acne and congested skin. And when I went to this facial place, I asked them, what is this? Because every time I walked in, I'd see this laying like literally next to me on the chair and I'm just like girl you need to like tell me what this is and the face just basically told me that this is an LED therapy facial light I was very skeptical about this product because I was just like how can an LED light 
make your skin clearer and she broke down the science to me so what it is is that these LED lights there's no UV in there so meaning that it's not going to damage your skin or age your skin so it's very safe to use when you do put this on you shouldn't feel any type of tingle or any type of heat or coolness or any of that stuff like it should not feel like that it literally should just feel like there's nothing on your skin when you use this product so how LED therapy light works is that it helps stimulate collagen production and when I heard that I was like give that to me because I don't want to age and I still want to look 25 when I'm 40 hopefully <laughs> I mainly use red light therapy and the reason why is because as soon as you hit in your mid 20s your body doesn't produce as much collagen as it used to so doing things like this really helps produce more collagen and red light therapy also restores your skin and it also gives you a very healthy glow as well well. I recommend using this after cleansing your skin. This is literally like a booster. So imagine you're cooking chicken, right? And you want to add salt and pepper, you know, add a little bit of seasoning, but then you go ahead and add another seasoning and it brings out the flavor. This is what this does. You can also increase the light as well, which is so cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Love a bit of technology. If you're wondering what blue light does, this is amazing for people who has acne prone skin. I sometimes use this, but I mainly focus on the red LED light therapy mainly. So this will help cure the bacteria. It will get rid of all that gunkiness in your skin. Oh yeah, oh that is bright. Oh my God. The green LED light can also help increase collagen production in the skin. I can also also fade pigmentation as well. When I first tried the LED light, I felt like, well, what is going on here? Like I was just laying there. I have this Iron Man mask on my face and I was just like, I don't understand what's going on. I feel nothing. Cause I'm so used to like feeling some sort of pain whenever I get my facials done, especially at a professional salon. But then the next day I was like, Oh my god, my skin is literally glowing. And previously when I was going to that facial place to get my facials done, I would get the same facial done all the time because I bought a package, but I added the LED therapy light mask on top. And I definitely saw a difference. Like it was so crazy to see this one little trick, this one extra step to make your skin just look a little bit better. So yeah, that is why I kind of recommend it. I mean, do you need it? Probably not. But if it's something that you're interested in and you're looking to up your skincare game, then maybe this could be for you. So that is the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching another one of my videos. I know this video is a little bit different but I really wanted to share some of my favorite Amazon products. I mean who doesn't love an Amazon haul guys? Come on. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. It would mean so much to me and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.